Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, overnight we had a mixed trade with beans a little bit lower, corn and wheat a little bit higher. Um, I think that first of all we'll be watching uh, crop condition reports today, grain inspections, looking at uh, supply and demand impact, and then we'll be watching what the USDA says tomorrow as far as U.S. acres and June 1 stocks. And also at all the time we'll be watching the weather. Uh, today's weather, um, the weekend rains were uh, mostly in the east and uh, showers over the next seven days will be in across the northern plains, southern Illinois and the Ohio River Valley and the southeast. The new 6 to 10 day and 8 to 14 day maps show uh, dryness and warm temperatures across the center part of the U.S. Midwest with uh, showers in the southeast and showers in the northern plains. So we'll kind of see when we come in after the 4th of July weekend whether or not this is a persistent pattern and if the pattern is going to affect yields or if this is something uh, just like an old time summer in which we have some warm days and then we have some rains. Those that get the rains, crop conditions will steadily improve and those that miss the rains could uh, actually see a decline. We're expecting today a one percentage increase in the corn and bean ratings and right now the ratings would suggest the corn yield over 180 and a soybean yield somewhere around 51 bushels per acre. We'll also be watching the headlines of the virus. On Friday, the virus uh, impact had some significant uh, price changes, especially on the stock market. And right now it's mixed. The dollar is lower, crude's lower, and gold is higher. Gold is a safe haven for uncertainty. And then we'll be um, watching any headlines between U.S. and, and China. It seems like the rhetoric uh, got a little more tense over the weekend. Um, U.S. accusing China of various things, including the spread of the virus and the Chinese reacting basically to stay out of their business or could have impact the phase one trade deal. Right now, uh, we'll be watching to see how much uh, soybeans uh, China buys, but we do note that their hog numbers are not increasing as much and hog prices continue to decline in China. So we just don't know exactly how much uh, beans they're going to buy from the U.S. and any other ag products. Um, so I guess the main thing right now we're going to keep uh, one eye on the weather and all and the other eye on all the data that comes out either from the USDA or headlines on the virus. As always uh, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. And please have a safe and profitable trading day and remember Changing tomorrow starts today.